You've probably seen this scene. Good morning, my brother. There are like 10,000 romance anime this season, from days when my stepsister, which I'm not gonna go into, to one girl's schizophrenic harm. We're spoiled for choice when it comes to romance anime, but when it comes to now, is Elias on the deepest romance anime this season, or is it just a fan service bullshit for every horny motherfucker out there? But you know where there can't be any fan service? School. Let's try, uh, this one. Hey, that's our main girl Alia. She's a transfer student from Russia, the land of Borsk, Vodka, and Babushka. She's also drop dead gorgeous for every guy on campus, and because of that, she got the label of the Ice Queen because she's not friendly with people at all and rejects guys like it's Tinder. But when we get into class, we meet Kuzin, who initially just looks like a slacker. I'm not gonna lie, I would think that too. But come to find out, he's actually insane at a bunch of different stuff, so he just doesn't try at everything all the time. They actually start off with friends because they're during the school festival, Alia had to help her class get ready, but when everyone was going home instead of staying late to finish stuff, she got pissed, said everyone else was slackers, and she had the mindset of a one man army. She is Rambo, she will put in the all nighter and do her best to get it done. But most people in class were not feeling that, so she's all by herself and frustrated as hell. But then Kuze comes in and's like, you're being a dickhead, and shows her the benefits of at least trying to get along with people. And then, when it's all over, they have an after festival dance. And people wanna dance with all ya, but you know who swoops in? My boy Kuze. And that's how they became friends. But back to the present, she invites him to the student council office to help her with some after school things. I know what you're thinking, but it's not that. But when we get to the student council office, we meet the main cast and get a majority of the fucking drama. So we have Yuki, his sister, and also the one from that. Masha, Alia's sister, nice, older sister, pretty wholesome. Toya, it's the current president, and his girlfriend, Sarashina, who do many steamy things in the student council room. These student councils in anime, I swear to God, it's like the actual president. But we'll talk about that later. But now we've come to our big first, not problem. I don't fucking know. But Kuze and Yuki are brother and sister, but they don't act like it in public at all. And if we take the meme as evidence, she obviously likes her brother. Maybe a bit too much? We'll talk about that in a bit. But this actually brings me to one of my favorite points about the anime, the lore. The lore is fucking deep. Like, bro, Kuze is actually in exile from a super high up Suo family. I understand, bro. If my family name was Suo, I wouldn't want to be there either. And they hate him. They treat him like a dog. But it looks like something even worse happened to Kuze. So bad that when he sees her, he gets Muzan flashbacks. But because of this Muzan PTSD, Kuze ends up competing with Yuki, going from slacker lookalike to competing like hell. And it creates this insane dynamic where everyone's super fired up and there's some super high level tactics at play. But there's one problem. Kuze's sister is actually an otaku and does some pretty weird shit, like making the anime scene. So yeah, she does some odd shit. And the only people that know about it is her maid, Ayano, and Kuze. And she's running for student council, bro. And Kuze's keeping it a secret. Not to mention Ayano. I think the only reason Ayano hasn't quit is because she must be kinda into it at this point. Kuze's keeping strong. He hasn't some come to the weeb. I wonder if Kuze will use her otaku bullshit as a way to tear her down in the student council election. But I think the most damning piece of evidence for Yuki has to be she obviously has a brother complex. Like am I the only one thinking Kuze could exploit the shit out of that? But hey, only time will tell. But what about Anya? She's actually pretty disliked or hated by the student body. Why? It's literally because she's a Ford student. And they have lines like, what does she know about the school? And she's just saying her place being the ice cream. People are literally kind of asshole Salia just because she didn't go to middle school with them and is not from there. Like, it's actually kind of insane. But Kuze also has a lot in hidden power, so anyone who tries to slander her Kuze just fucking destroys them. But what about the two main characters together? Alia, who talks about her feelings in Russian, believes that no one can understand her, but Kuze can actually understand Russian. Because of another girl he quote, left behind. We won't even be able to get into that. It creates this tension between the two of them, because if Kuze reveals he can speak Russian, Alia will probably never speak to him again, because she'll realize all of what she's been saying in Russian, he's been understanding, and that's probably the most embarrassing thing ever. And Kuze has to keep his metro 
electric fuck ton of a superpower a secret but he does almost get to read Alia's mind so I guess trade off but there's really mind games going on there's still one thing I've yet to address every anime to student council like this I don't think I've seen a single anime do a student council like in real life and if I'm wrong and student councils in Japan really are that powerful well I'm sorry and I take it back but for now what the fuck they treat it like it's a fucking president like why i think we've all done student council election hell i was even on one back in the day but i don't have half the power anime thinks it does i love to have one character that just calls it out on this bullshit and no one listens to them like hell just one character like that would change everything but as of now it's just massive anime tom fuckery but at this point you might be asking is alia said actually the deepest romance anime okay let me ask you with a quick story alia Sen originally would have never gotten a video. I was just gonna enjoy this anime this season, but as the season went on, I saw the meme pop up, the Tom fuckery in the anime, and thought I was gonna rip it to shreds if I made a video. But when writing this vid, all the great bits shined like gold among everything. So all your son isn't just romance, it's deep lore mixed with romance, and it's better than most anime this season, with their romance just being to sell figures. So all your son is an 8.5 out of 10, and I'd gladly watch it again.